great. Let's go. Thank you. All right. Rap Wire TV. I go by the name DJ Chuck T, but y'all already fucking knew that because you clicked on this video on either my motherfucking page, or on my Spin My Hit page, or on my Rap Wire page, or on my I Am DJ Chuck T page, or on my David L. Thor Instagram, or on my DJ Chuck T goddamn uh, uh, fan page. In some way, shape, or form, you know. Who you listening to right now, man? Yeah. It's the Rap Wire TV Beats, Bars, and Blends podcast. And in the studio with me today, do, 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 do. I got a Charlotte music legend. Period, period, period. One of the pioneers of the trap music yeah. in Charlotte. Yeah. One of the pioneers of that real hood shit. Not the commercialized, hit on the radio every 30 seconds. Paying for spins type shit. But I'm talking about that grimy gutter music. You know what I'm saying? Not the, the lights, camera, action, lights, and, 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 and glistening uh, uh, um, apartments and, you know, high-rise buildings. Not the multi-million dollar cars. We talking about the goddamn trapped out Crown Vicks Caprices on 23s. Yeah. The goddamn... Uh, 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 Cadillacs. We talking about the hood shit, bro. <laughs> that grimy ghetto shit that that the real trap niggas listen to. He's one of the pioneers of that in the city. The mud shit. He started off as superstar jerks. Now he goes by the name of Charlie Drugs. Yeah. Let's put your hands together. Let's put our hands together for the homie Charlie Drugs in the yeah. studio yeah. with me yeah. today. Yeah. Man. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> turn up. Now. All right, man. So listen, we gonna take him way back. Okay. You know, I like to give everybody. Um, that, that that history on people who sit down with me, man. You yeah. know, because we get a lot of viewers who are tuning in from around the world, from around the country, yeah, you yeah. know, from around the cat who just ain't familiar with, you know, the niggas in these pockets where uh, uh, the industry light hasn't hit yet. Yeah, That's why I say, because because here in Charlotte, you know, we make great music, music, beats. Movies, all yeah, that, but the, yeah. but the but the but the uh the spotlight just ain't been on us. But then, yeah, yeah, we man, we just curse uh, uh, yeah, I'm man, come like on, man. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. God damn <laughs> shit, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but, you, but you know, you know, niggas don't know we get money down here. We making moves down here. So I like to give everybody the background. Now, when I met you, you went by the name of Superstar Jerz, and and, and and I met you in the hood, in the grimy. You know, goddamn slums of Charlotte in a club called Faces. Yeah, way back, way back. Way, way back. back. Faces. Faces was one of them places where you had to have a bulletproof vest, <laughs> two pistols, an extra clip. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Maybe maybe a bulletproof helmet on. You know what I'm saying? You know, <laughs> like, you know, maybe, maybe one of them. It went you down know? back then. Yeah, it, it went down back then, man. So, so tell us. Um, exactly what part of the city you from, what part of the city you represent, and man, what made you make the transition from the streets to the music? Uh, well, I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina, like we all is probably, but y'all, you know, we across the world, Craig, we're yeah, across yeah. the world, you yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, But I'm from North Charlotte, Caldwell Street, you feel me? That's where I was born at, you know what I'm hell saying? Yeah, but, hell uh, yeah, hell yeah. I represent the whole city, man. I represent the world, Craig. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> but uh, the other question was what? Man, what made you make the transition from the streets okay, to okay, the Okay, okay, okay. So look, though, for everybody who know me, man, y'all know I'm a rapper. I was rapping first. The streets, okay. the streets just came when I had my first daughter. And, you know, nigga ain't about to get no job. That job shit ain't really, you know, what it's for. You know what I'm saying? So... I just took a different route, you know what I'm saying? Listen, and that's real because you have so many people who who start off in the streets, then migrate to music, but you say it was sort of like the other way around. I always you know want to be a rapper. Always. 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 Okay, so this wasn't nothing that you just did because you seen nah. everybody else nah. talking about, you know, I sold drugs and now I'm a rapper, so now I'm going to do the same I thing. I wasn't even talking about drugs first. I always, I always was into hoes and shit, like... I like bitches and shit. Like, I'm a fat nigga. I always felt like I was ugly. You feel me? So, <laughs> yeah. shit, once I got some little money, you know what I'm saying, man? I always felt, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got confidence when I got older and shit. So, yeah. it was never for the niggas. Like, I don't give a fuck about y'all niggas. Like, I don't even want to hang with niggas. I want to be with the bitches. You know what I'm gotcha. saying? That's gotcha. what I always have been about. But, you know, when you get in the streets, you know, my my reason was getting some goddamn money. Shit, that shit been your reason too, nigga. You nah, know you're what right. I'm saying? Nah, you're right. But I learned a lot of hatred come with it. 
and that's when you get all the extra shit, you know what I mean? So, but yeah, first jumping off, man, I was a rapper. I'm still a rapper, singer, whatever you want to call me. Yeah, uh, yeah. Rest in peace, Tupac. That's my favorite buddy. You know what I'm saying? All day. Goddamn all period. Day. All right, so shit. That 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 uh, that right there is one of the realest things that I've heard in quite some time. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, niggas yeah. Are, are get in front of a mic and get in front of a camera. You know what I'm saying? And they'll try to uh, shoot down the fact that they an MC or shoot down the fact that they a rapper. But you like, man, fuck that shit. This has always been a dream of mine. You know what I'm saying? And you know, so shit. Whenever you first started coming up. Um, you know, naturally, we're going to take it back to the faces days, yeah, faces, you know, faces. like, um, like I said in the introduction, that was one of them places where you really had to sort of be certified to even touch yeah. the stage in that yeah. motherfucker, yeah. It was you the, know? It was the music, though, because even then, it wasn't street shit, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, you had street niggas coming to see you and shit, but it was music, your music made you, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. didn't nobody yeah. give a fuck what you were selling, cause we was young back in them days, so like, even the niggas who said they were selling bricks and shit, like, I didn't ever believe that shit anyway, you know what I'm saying? So like, <laughs> nah, shit, even if you was, nigga, I wasn't in your business to be like, shit, bro, you got a brick? I don't need a brick, nigga, so, yeah. you know what I mean? It was always music to me, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, if I like your shit, bro, to be hard, you can rap, I'ma bob my head, I'm probably gonna be like, bro, let's do a song, you feel me? I always Hell been yeah. that type of nigga, bro, but, like I say, when the other shit came apart, that's when the hatred came, you feel me? But when I was just a rapper, man, everybody fuck with Jerz, man. You know what man, I'm saying? Hell everybody. Yeah. You know, I never had beef when I was just Jerz, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. When now, I was broke, ask for rides. Y'all, y'all like talk shit, so, you know, I'm going to sit down on camera and I was broke, ask for rides and shit. You know, y'all fuck with me, but now yeah, yeah. got some little money and I ain't got to do all that shit. Oh, man, that nigga used to ask for rides back in that nigga fuck Oh, yeah. You, now, now, listen, that's something that, he, you know, I feel like anybody who get a, a, a little bit of success, yeah. that'd be the first thing niggas try to say. Like, we all didn't start off broke, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. niggas would niggas be quick to say, back when that nigga was broke, you know, like, shit, goddammit, yeah, we was yeah. all broke, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I, I I don't really know too many niggas who was born with a silver spoon in their mouth. Hell you know man. what I'm saying? I don't know and shit, you. niggas want to know you. Shit. Yeah, they're like niggas will look down on you if you was born with a silver spoon. Then fuck around and try to look down on a nigga whenever you started off broke. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, that's yeah. like some ass back with shit, but that's the culture. You know? They, they just support you when you broke. Nah, you right. Support you more. You right. So, That's because you ain't no competition. Period. When you, you know become what I'm competition saying? And shit, fuck you, you know what I'm saying? So shit. Okay. Back in the faces days. Now, you came up in the grittiest or the grimiest of ways. Like, can't yeah. nobody in this motherfucker say Jerz didn't pay his dues musically? Yeah, yeah. Period. period you know, period. can't nobody say that. So whenever you 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 started, um, I guess progressing. Um, what made you keep it street? Because it's so easy to sort of lose sight of the streets and just say, fuck all that shit. But from back then till now, you've always sort of kept it 100 with the streets. I mean, shit. Just, you know, I had OG niggas around me. Like, my brother, he did, like... I always ask them for shit. Like, Hell like yeah. I'd be like, bro, what you think I should be talking about? You know what I mean? Because I... I wasn't in the street at that time. And old, gotcha. old four, old six, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I, I was asking them, like, bro, what do you think I should be talking about? You gotcha. know what I mean? So gotcha. it was like that. And it was just becoming myself. Like, when I first dropped and Face the Days, I was sound like Gucci Man. You feel me? Like, yeah, my, yeah. my first song was Yeah, I'm a Dog. I got that idea off of I'm a Dog. You know what I mean? Gotcha. So okay. it was just me finding myself, bro. Like, shit. And it was just Jersey. Oh, I feel like all Jersey music, it, it, it sounds like. I was just trying to figure out some shit, but I was living my real life. Like, whatever the fuck I was doing in real life, we'll get to that, but I was living real life. So now, this new shit is like, yeah, y'all y'all know. I did everything I said. You know, it's real. It's it's, it's more authentic now. You know what I mean? Got you now. You brought up uh, Heedy. You You know, when I met you, you know, he was a nigga who was speaking for you. Yeah. And even now, you know, like, you still got to reach out to Heedy to make it happen. You know, um, throughout the course of an artist's career, I've seen him switch managers. And I'm not even talking about once a nigga get to the, to the top, like a nigga switch managers at the bottom. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. But you've always kept it 100 with bro. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Like, what, uh, what do you attribute that to? Because it's so quick to switch up now. And I know I mean, you've had people in your ear, yeah, you know, yeah. for the longest. But that's my brother, though. You know what I mean? So, 
he really fell back off the management shit too. So you know, anybody looking at this shit, you know what I'm saying? Probably by the time y'all see this shit, I probably have a good little pay manager. But hell yeah, I'll let me. You know what I'm saying? Cause we got a lot of shows coming, baby. You know we've been dropping some shit. I'm talking about boy, we got to take over. But now nah, for real though, uh. That's my big brother though. He's my big brother, you know what I'm saying? It's always loyalty. I, I be hitting him sometimes. I hit him all the time, but I'm just saying, I just, you know, call him and be like, bro, man, you need to just goddamn get back to what you were doing. Hell but yeah. the nigga done, he done he done been successful in another lane. You know what gotcha. I mean? So gotcha. he okay. see what success look like in another way. So it's like, bro, older got kids. Well, I got kids too. Everybody got kids, goddamn. Yeah. But yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I guess once you get Old, old, double OG, because I'm OG status, no, so, yeah, bro, yeah. like, damn, old, <laughs> double OG, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I guess, yeah. if you ain't made it with the music shit then, but you made it somewhere else, you like, bro, I love you to death with that shit, bro, you do that, and keep doing your thing, now, you know, I support you, but I gotta keep, supply, you know, supplying what this, the kids yeah, yeah. need, family, you know what I'm saying? So, I respect it, because once it all come back around, bro, we're gonna have plenty of stories to tell, got them plenty of money to spend, and, and, Hell and yeah. you know what I'm saying? I already know, bro, because I come from solid people, you know, my whole background is solid people, you know, fuck some street shit, you know, they just, and, and they man, you know what I mean? They they real man, fuck fuck the street shit, they, they, they really know what they, you know, definitely keep shit together, you know what I mean? Hell yeah. That's all it's about. So, let's talk about that first hit, you brought it up, that yeah, I'm a dog. Yeah, yeah, you know, like yeah. that was one of the 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 the, the real Charlotte records. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Like when yeah. you talk about the history of the city of Charlotte, when it come to hip hop, they gotta they gotta mention that song. Man, you, you know what I'm saying? Too. Like, why do you feel like that song took off? Like I'm talking about took yeah. off, took off. You I know think faces, I mean? faces. Yeah, hell yeah, faces. Faces was the, like it was it was the mecca at one point. Like like. You, you wasn't you wasn't in if you wasn't yeah, in faces, wasn't you know faces. what I'm saying? Hell like, yeah, yeah. Like, but shit, there was a lot of niggas who performed that faces, and I mean, they shit just know, ain't pop. You it, know it, what I'm saying? It, like, it come, it come with undeniable talent too, though. You know yeah, what I mean? hell yeah. It man, come, go ahead, keep talking. Fuck that phone, uh, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm sitting yeah. here telling niggas cut their phone on vibrate. My shit, goddamn, blinging. You know what I'm hey, saying? Hey man, the trap must go on. The you know, it must go on. But yeah, um, yeah, like 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 a lot of niggas on music. Was played and faces didn't pop. Yours popped though. Uh, you know what I'm saying? What do you feel like you did differently? You know? Undeniable talent. And uh, it's just like, once you hear a song like that you like, shit is undeniable. Shit, I always had undeniable songs. Like, no matter no matter what, man. You know, you gotta give me that. You know what I mean? Nah, like, nah, you're right. Shit, if, it's, if I give you a song, you're gonna be like, boy, that nigga blanked on that, that hook. And you gonna like the beat, you know what I mean? You you know it's gonna be like it's gonna catch you, you know. What I, mean? I make catchy songs, so yeah, that's all it really always been about. I always had like God always touched me with them to make a, a hit. You know yeah, what I mean? and, and and that's that that leads to my next question. Your style has evolved yeah. over the years. Yeah, yeah. When you started off, you was really just a spitter. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But now you know you damn sing on your yeah. shit. You still spit. You know, but um, where do you attribute that growth? You know, too, is it just knowledge from from going from uh yeah. yeah from from not just uh you know seeing what's going on around you you know but is it something that you've always sort of you know yeah. worked on and yeah, now yeah. you just got to the point yeah, where it's, yeah. you know I making always it? like you can ask my niggas I always wanted the same yeah yeah Hell but yeah. you know you know you fat man I got them I got I got a lazy <laughs> eye you know what I'm saying like yeah. you know niggas be insecure on the low so it just be like. Damn, my fat ass trying to sing. You feel me? Like, yeah. so, you know, like I said, I was saying, I like, I like hoes. So I'm singing about hoes. So now it's like, it's just too much because it, it, ain't, it ain't fitting me. Exactly. Like, because, you know, you look at me, you think it's, it's all street, even though I'm trying to be something different, but goddamn. But, you know, yeah, that's what they yeah. see. You know, they're like, you know, you know. Yeah, so you feel like, shit. you know, you had to. You had to fit a certain stereotype. Yeah, but now I mixed it. You know what I exactly. mean? Exactly. So it's working now. No, no, no. Definitely it's working, man. So, um, Let's get into the Hunnic Gang era of your career. Okay. Um, when you first came out, you always had a crew of niggas with you. Yeah. But the Hunnic Gang thing came after you sort of had a little beef with uh, an artist by the name of Young Nut. I remember that was my first time uh, really hearing the nigga Money Only Mo on a record. It was a diss track <laughs> yeah. for a nigga named Young Nut. Yeah. But um, after that, Everybody started sort of seeing the Honey Gang shit yeah, pop up. What, yeah. what made, what, hey, what, what, you know, how the Honey Gang even come into creation? You know, and who were the members of Honey Gang at that point? Uh, to be honest, uh, the Honey Gang shit was just like, 
I mean, whatever the fuck we was doing, because I don't want to get too deep into what the fuck we was doing, but we was yeah, just on yeah, the yeah. front street doing the fuck we was doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Niggas really in the struggle, bro. Like, man, niggas, man, I was on the rapper, period. Like, I was yeah. on the rapper. When I went to, to where I was at, you know, on the front street, I was on the rapper. Like, I was the motivation. Like, them niggas didn't want to rap. Them niggas rapped. Exactly. You feel me? But they didn't. They didn't know as a hobby. Period. You know they didn't saying? know a Chuck T. They ain't know a Mario. They didn't know a you know keep naming niggas, but yeah, they didn't know them. So I was just the motivation of rap wise. Like I said, I was been a rapper, but when I went over there, it was the streets, real street. Like you niggas, you broke jerseys. Okay, but, but here go this. Like well, this what we do. Like this, this, this. this you know what I mean? Whatever, whatever. Gotcha, you know what I gotcha, mean? So, gotcha. so it was my choice. You know what I mean? Whatever the fuck I want to do, it was my choice. You know what I mean? So no, I but, get it. Uh, so that just became family. You know what I mean? My nigga Mo is, is my brother. You know what I mean? So it is family. You know what I mean? So how it became was you know just being over there and just shit, Hell yeah. shit, just being a hundred. You know what I mean? And got you. Okay. Shit, you know it was me, Mo, and Nut. You know what I mean? Nut so cut though. You know that's that's the beginners. That's who on that song. It was Mo, me, and Nut. You know what I mean? That's got the you. beginners. You know. Shout it, out to the nigga uh, Nut so man. You know them three yeah. niggas. You know what I mean? But you know you know what I mean. So that that's what it was and. Uh, I think just the young nut situation, like uh, that was like, you know, before like we was hunting game, but you know niggas wanted like I wanted to rap, niggas supported me rapping, nobody else gotcha. wanted to rap, like they get on my song cause of me, you know what I mean? So Hell yeah. they hooked what well, I hooked up with with young nut people and shit, no bad blood, you know what I mean? All that shit. Oh, I ain't, I ain't tripping, but I hooked up with they people on some other shit. I don't, see, I don't talk about it. You know what I'm saying? But I hooked up with they people plus music, you feel me? Gotcha. So I was like, boom, but. I'm broke. You know what I'm saying? Like, God damn, nigga. So if yeah. this helping me out to do what the fuck I need to do, you need to keep this shit going. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. All and, right. and, I, and I'm like 20, 21 at that time. So I'm like, you know, I'm, 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 I'm man, look, I'm with the money. You know what I mean? So yeah, I was just trying to get some money, man. And, 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 and I had did some little shit back in the day and they thought it was over a coat. But nah, he just, you know, it wasn't over no goddamn coat. Yeah, oh, nigga, over a coat? Yeah, they thought it was over a goddamn coat or some shit. Motherfucker, <laughs> ain't no no goddamn coat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was broke in them days. Probably couldn't afford the coat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For real, shit, real. But so, no. So what, nigga tried to say you stole the coat no, or something? No, no, no. They trying to say, like, the nigga had an interview that morning. And I, I was going to the mall with the other the other people to get a coat for my photo shoot. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, okay. They were running this shit like a real business. You know, like, you know what I'm saying? So, okay. I was an artist at that time. So, yeah, I want to look for You going to pay for it? Okay, come on, get me right. That's gotcha. how I'm looking at it. You feel me? I ain't looking at it like y'all about to down me on no shit like that. But it wasn't even... Fuck the coat shit. I wasn't mad about the coat. It was like, motherfucker, I want to be a rapper. You, you hold him back studio time. It seemed like this nigga don't even want to be in the studio. He hating on me or something. Motherfucker, I rap. Nigga, let me in the studio. So it was about gotcha, that. So, okay. right. you know, motherfucker, want to ball? Let's get to the business, nigga. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, I was mad. Like, I remember, like, I was trapping. You know what I'm saying? So exactly. every day, it was like, I, I get picked, more come pick me up from the career. Mm-hmm. And I got down, I have new raps. Like, I'm a rapper. You know what I mean? But I'm still getting some money, too. But... I have new rap, so I was just so pissed off at the, at the time. I remember Cuz came and got me, and I'm like, Cuz, I got this little song, man, goddamn. Just listen to it. And I just started rapping, it, and then I said names and all type of shit. Gotcha. And, and, and long story short, he was with it. You know what I mean? Because I guess he feel hot. Man, that nigga always, everything I would say, he, wrote, he, he read, he rolled with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, gotcha. Stood stood behind me 100%. So yeah, I man, never shout changed. Shout out money up, only more, you know man. man. Free money only more. Solid. Yeah. Free my dog, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Period. Period. Yeah, because it because it because it got it got real um touchy. You know what I'm saying? You when? know the, the the situation with you and Young Nut. You know, oh, I, okay. I, I, <laughs> nah, like it, it got real touchy. You know, like there was a lot of people who sort of had to choose sides. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. like. It, it, it almost went further than music. Shit, you know no, what I'm no. saying? Streets. You know what I'm saying? Anything that happened in the streets was keeping in the streets. Nah, Y'all didn't know how to play this shit. Yeah, you know, I just remember like, God damn. See, now that I think about it, I'm like, God damn, over a coat and some studio time. Like, yeah. it really. That's petty. Yeah, like it, like it really looked like it was about to get crazy yeah. out here. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Because like, that's the perception. They, you know, I guess they read from the other interview like a while back. But, yeah. I mean, shit, man. What? It's over a coat. You know what I mean? Yeah, fuck God it. Damn. All right, it's over a coat. You know, like, I don't give a fuck, man. What, what, yeah. what, what y'all doing now, man? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, be positive, man. Yeah, Keep well, listen, life well, I, just, I just seen some, you know. Um, okay, so back to the music. All right, so after the Young Nuts situation sort of came uh, and went, Honey Gang, yeah. or basically Money Only Mo, so you know, uh, nut, and Nuts So Cutthroat, and you, y'all, 
was sort of solidified because the beef was so heavy and the yeah. shit was sort of all yeah. over. You had two people with two crews mm -hmm. going at it who everybody sort of knew or fucked with in some yeah. way, shape, or form that, you know, now niggas had their eyes open. Yeah. So from there, there was other members brought into the group. Um, correct me if I leave anybody out. It started off with you, Money Only Mo, Not So Cutthroat. Then yeah. we had uh, Chubby Bands. We had uh, Joe Blow. Um, and my, who else? Cause it seemed like that was about it. I mean, I know Judah Boy came in a little afterwards, yeah. but the actual foundation of the crew was those, those three six pits. Yeah, yeah. Three those three, and then we added in the other two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. so when when y'all basically came in as Hunter Gang, y'all hit the city by storm. I'm yeah. talking about strip clubs, regular clubs. I'm talking about bottles, sparklers. You know, whips, you know, uh, the music was out there. You know, why do you feel like Honey Gang was able to make a mark in a city where you had so many other people doing the same thing with just as much money, just as much street cred, just as many members? You know, like, why were y'all able to just come in and put a clamp down on shit? The music. The it's music? Like, the music. It's like, you got to move it, but it's believable because you, you see them every day. You, you may get pulled up and... And get something from from you know what I mean? Hell so it's yeah. just like you believe it and you see it. You you see you see young niggas coming from the front street to big careers and driving benzes and jazz and Corvettes and whatever, you know what I'm saying? You you see it with your own eyes, so now it's like, wow. And then it's yeah. like, boy, they blanking with the music too, bro. Like y'all yeah, y'all were like the Char y'all were like the Charlotte BMF, bro. Like yeah, if they, yeah, yeah. It, for those who, who who aren't familiar with the Carolina music market. You know, y'all, especially the Charlotte music market, yeah. if I could compare y'all and anybody, it would be the Charlotte BMF. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I get what it, saying. like it was authentic. It was uh, real. It came out of nowhere. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, y'all had the music to back it up. You know, I know you were the only one who sort of came in on the music shit, you know, and everybody else sort of came in to back you and then turned into... Yeah. Rappers, yeah, yeah, but um, you know, it yeah, was it, it it mesh it mesh so well. What like how did y'all mesh so well with with each other? You know, because y'all were also from different sides of the city too. Now, well, more from the north, me and more from the north side. You know, I mean, more from the north side. Mm -hmm. So we from the north side. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, so we on the same side of shit, and I've been knowing most for a long time. Hell yeah! Even before I even knew them. Shit, well, I knew him. You know what I'm saying? You know how that shit goes. So it's just like, I don't know. But most of everybody else was more niggas before mine. Got you. Okay. You know what I mean? So I came off the face of Mo. You know what I mean? So, Understood. So I know nuts so off of Mo. I know everybody else off of Mo. You know what I mean? So it was just like, okay, cool. That's how we rocking. That's how we rocking. You know so I mean? so Money Only Mo was sort of like the, the, the big meech who could rap. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That, that's that's what you can compare them to. Shit. Now, now, salute my boy. Yeah, you know salute, what salute, man? salute, money only mo. Now, um, the strip clubs were where y'all really put the smack down on yeah, people. I think niggas, you know what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, the exactly. strip clubs is where y'all. I mean, the regular clubs y'all did y'all thing, you know. But um, the strip club is where y'all really put the smack down on people. Money only more would walk in the strip club, go get $5,000, and just throw it up in the air wherever it fell, it fell. Yeah. I, but, remember, I remember my first time going to Cameo. It was just uh, me, Mo, and, and, and another rapper nigga named Tree and shit. That's our people and shit. Mm -hmm. and, and, bro, like, you know me. I mean, shit, I ain't going to tell nobody. Been the best true story. Like, niggas were broke. I was and, and whoever I was. But Mo did wasn't broke. You know what I'm saying? But he had five bands. Exactly. You feel me? And bro, goddamn, this is a true story, bro. I don't give a fuck how nobody feels about it because it's real and I know where we came from. But nigga had five bands and he made it seem like we had five bands. We all had five bands because we exactly. all had ones. You feel me? So, like I say, bro, like, we're going to do a story on his life because that's a real ass nigga. And most niggas don't salute people, but y'all need to start saluting real niggas. You know what no, I'm saying? Because no, you don't get, get too many real niggas. A lot of people flaw. You know what I'm saying? I got flaws. Everybody got flaws. You know what I'm saying? But that's one flaw I see a lot of people. Y'all, man, salute real. A lot of y'all rappers still text my dog on the phone, all type of shit. So all y'all niggas need to be starting to show love. Like, cause you know, we wasn't on no dumb shit. We, we, nah, we right. really was trying. We, it was just people telling, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we, we listen, we, we, we gonna get money. to that. Hold on, hold on. Let's, yeah, we, we gonna get we gonna get to that portion. We gonna get to that. 
Oh, let's keep it on the music right now, and then we gonna we gonna get we gonna get to that part because that's what everybody's watching for. Okay. Everybody in in the in the Charlotte music market. You know, they, they they waiting for us to address the 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 the, 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 fed, the fed side. They they waiting on us to address the uh Too you know the uh the the the, the legal the legal side. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> all right. So when when you address when you address money only mo, um, you know, I compared them earlier to the big Meech. Yeah. You know, the big meets of Charlotte, that is. Yeah, probably. You know, he um <laughs> he was a very giving person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, I know as a DJ, money only mo put money in my hand. Wow. You know, um a lot of DJs he paid rents. He paid he paid rents, he bought jewelry, <laughs> he bought Cards. Yeah, cards. We're not even gonna talk about just bottles in the club and yeah. buying drinks. That's natural. You know, a lot of uh Strippers in the area, rich, rich off money only mo. He bought cars and houses. Yeah. You know he paid mortgages. Yeah. You know, I mean jewelry, red bottoms, everything. We Probably we so. can we can we you know so you know bro, bro listen bro was a very giving person. And my thug, yeah. So now that he's no longer here. I mean, he's he, not. He's, yeah, he's yeah, not he's dead. Straight, he's alive, you know what I'm saying? Now. Okay. Free. He, he's not dead. He's gonna you know, be free soon. Dead. Now. Like I, I, I really, I really don't want to get get too far. That like, money only mode is not dead. Yeah, yeah, but man. now that he's no longer here, you know, do you feel like people have sort of not necessarily forgot about him, yeah. but they 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 not respecting what he did for the Charlotte music market in the in the street shit in Charlotte. Period. I mean, you know, outside out of mind type shit. Hell so, yeah! You know, you, you of course the motherfucker gonna forget, but you know if you really had love for him, you you gonna always, you know, do what you supposed to do. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Do you like, feel like people treat you as an artist or as a person differently because he's not here? I mean, fuck them anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, no, no. I get it. Yeah, yeah. I really don't give a fuck how y'all treat me. Like, I don't do it for Charlotte. Like, I, I love y'all, but I've been rapping for so long that I done took. I done did everything in Charlotte. So, like, if y'all feel some type of way about me or you heard I was a snitch or some shit, you feel me? Like, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Hell to yeah. be honest, you Hell know yeah. what I mean? Because I, I go sleep comfortable every night. Like, I live my life how I want to live my fucking life. So, fuck y'all, niggas. You know what I mean? But if you want to fuck with me, you can, bro. I got good hooks for you. You know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, Hell it yeah. might cost you because I, I, I do hold little grudges in the back of my head. So it might cost you a little <laughs> yeah, money. For, for, the, for, the, listen, for the niggas who, for the niggas who, was, who wasn't uh, supportive uh, on the come up, I feel yeah, you. Yeah. You know? So, all right, we're going to get into the legal aspect of it. Whenever we bring up the cars, the money, the jewelry, the yeah. clothes, um, it's almost cliche that it brings attention, yeah. negative attention. Yeah, yeah. Niggas were still in the streets. Um, and then Charlotte sort of cracked down on the quote unquote gang shit. Anything yeah. with gang yeah, or gang yeah. affiliation or just yeah. the name gang, yeah. you know, brought negative too attention. Much, too much. You know, now do you feel like the 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 group name Honey Gang sort of Brought too much negative attention, or do you yeah. feel like you know it was sort of a, a destiny that because niggas was moving so yeah, heavy, I mean, you know? It, 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 first of all, it was never was a gang. You know what I'm saying? Like I told you, it was just like niggas. You know what I mean? Like we just gave it a name. Like you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, honey gang. Shit. At that time, I felt like everybody around was hunted, and shit, it's us. You know. Shit, honey gang, but, but shit, goddamn, approved, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know I was saying gang, it was approved, yeah, yeah. like entertainment, you know what I mean? Like, so it was just a name, bro. It was never like, well, shit, bro, we about to goddamn do, 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 and we about to be this big, big. Shit, we wish we was, you know what I'm saying? That was the goal, you know what exactly. I mean? But shit. Now, but I will say this, y'all did have a reputation for coming in places, fucking shit up, and goddamn fighting and wilding the fuck out. Now, you I know think, what I'm saying? I think that was cause the hate though. You think like, on, on my mama, bro, like. We never start with, you know what I'm saying? I can't speak bad about it, but yeah. most of the time, we never started nothing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, it, it done been a lot of altercations where it ended up tragic, bro. Like, and bro, like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even know y'all niggas, man. Y'all doing this extra shit, man. And goddamn, 
Boom, you done got hit in your goddamn, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it just be, it be yeah. too much, bro. And I be like, bro, I, shit, bro, I really just want to rap, bro. I really don't want to fight y'all or no shit. Like, look, can y'all just enjoy the music? You know what I'm saying? But exactly. when, you, when you say real shit like that, oh, you a bitch ass nigga, and oh, he's a square, and they don't look at it as being a man. Like, bro, I really just trying to conduct a business. I'm right. not trying to get none of my niggas in federal prison because I done been through it. Like, I always used to preach shit like that to Mo. You know what I mean? Like, I told him what I done been through before. Because I done seen other niggas go fed and shit. My cousin's corn, free corn. He got 15. He'll be home next year, top of next year. You know what I'm gotcha. saying? But he went fed. My nigga, uh, BG from the Valley, Lil East, all them niggas. I was rapping with them. They went fed on some robbery shit. Nothing on some drug shit. But just on some robbery, but they went fed. Yeah, man, what happened to Lil East? God yeah, damn, period. man. So you skipped the whole listen, period. Listen, man, you man, know what man, man, shout out to the nigga Lil East, man. He When, when he come home, he already uh, home. He probably home. Uh, bro, I haven't talked to Lil East, bro. You know what I'm saying? Be honest, bro. But he'll probably home. Home next year too though. God damn, you know man, Lil East. When you see this shit, just know Chuck T thinking about you. God damn it. That's anyway, real. go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Shit, but yeah, but I seen people, you know, go fed already. I, I mm-hmm. went to my nigga BG. Uh, case one time, like the trial shit. I seen a whole bunch of Migos on the stand, bro. I, just, I seen like. Uh, like they play different like phone conversations. Yeah, I yeah. seen they play my video, the everywhere video. Uh, they say they play that in the federal case. You feel me? So trying to see if you in a gang. You see what I'm saying? So exactly. Exactly. It just be a lot of shit, bro. Like so, I already knew that. I I, I took my knowledge of that. So when we started this hunting gang shit, I'm already telling Cuz like, bro, bro, we gotta play it this way because. This going to keep us away from this. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. But exactly. Everybody ain't going to listen. And, and then you get into the money. I stop listening to my damn self. Like, what? <laughs> These hoes. You know what I'm saying? God damn, buddy. Turn up. You know what I'm saying? So, it's life. You know what I mean? So, that shit. That shit fast for real. You know what I mean? <laughs> nah, I feel you. Nah, listen. I get it. I get it. I get it. So, um, once... Once, uh, yeah, man, I ain't even gonna. I listen, I ain't gonna sugarcoat nothing. Y'all niggas got hot out mm. you very quick. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? The police was 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 recording conversations. They was coming to shows. You know, <laughs> they was they were they was sitting. Yeah, they were yeah. they were, they was trying to turn niggas against y'all yeah, internally yeah. and yeah, externally. Yeah. Then you had the hate for a while. It got it got real. Uh, let me find the right word. It got real hard for y'all to move around and be safe because y'all had the haters, yeah. y'all had the police, yeah. then you had just the legit money problems. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Um, and we started to see internal issues with Honey Gang. Then Honey Gang split. I remember it was. A hundred gang, then you had what? A hundred gang approved, a hundred gang nah, official. Like, nah, nah, nah. It, it was like, it was like, like two me, different hundred gang. It, let me keep it yeah. so solid. Like, okay. from the jump, bro, like, it was, it was, uh, uh, let me see, uh, like, it was like three different situations, three okay. different three entities. Okay, di- three different entities. Okay, okay. so like, hundred gang was like just me, Mo, nothing. Okay. Okay, now, Mo brother, uh, his shit was BCG. So BCG conducted as like T Main, Joe Blow, and uh, you know, that side. And then, okay. like, uh, they bigger brother had a little situation they had, he had going on. His shit was called No More Stressing. So, you know, if you see the shirts, we had No More Stressing shirts, and then it had Honey Gang on it, had BCG on it. Like, okay. we, 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 we were just all together on the strength of Mo. You know what I'm gotcha. saying? Like, okay. on the strength of Mo, we came together. Like, Gotcha. Cause, cause you know I've done I done I done all y'all goddamn I did t-shirts yeah, for y'all, man. I did goddamn Been CD printing. With Chuck, man. You know, I done did it all, you know what I'm saying? And and I know, you know, I would get certain calls from certain niggas like, don't put this logo on the CD. <laughs> put that logo on yeah, the CD. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or I need my t-shirts to have this yeah, logo, yeah, yeah, yeah. not that logo. It's just been it though. You know I, what like, I'm we, saying? We, like we it, it started, it started getting real. You know, hard for me to just goddamn but associate because I could sort of feel but it the was tension. Like, at that time, you know what I'm saying? At, at that time, it wasn't nothing like that. It wasn't nothing like that. Nah, okay, niggas, right. niggas is really trying to handle their business. Nigga want to be BCG shit. You no, no, I'm not even shit. talking about the BCG. I'm talking about a nigga was like, bro, the Honey Gang logo go here. 
Then there's a Honey Gang approved logo that oh, go here. Oh, oh yeah, because they're just different logos. That's what okay, that all right, okay, it's all right. same shit though. Like it was like a Honey Gang clothing. Like I, I did all this shit. I got all this shit done. You know what I mean? But gotcha. Okay, all right, it, it all just right. became it became popular because when I was doing it, it was just me and Mo. But once they seen Mo rocking, it's like oh everybody want to do it. You know what I mean? It wasn't gotcha, like okay. I wasn't the per- person that motivated everybody else. Mo was. You know what I mean? Exactly. But what I didn't did Mo just follow what I did like. He, 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 that was his support. Like, he supported me to the full. Like, cuz I believe in you. They might not, but I do. So, I'm gonna got them do it and watch this. Gotcha, you feel me? Gotcha. Like, we always had deep talks like that. Like, he, he showed me how to fake niggas. Yeah, like, I ain't saying niggas around me fake. I ain't saying nobody fake. But I'm just saying, you know, people be fake. And, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fake love everywhere, bro. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Man? Hell yeah. So, okay. Um, around that time, you know, you made the name change. From superstar jurors to Charlie Drugs. That's that's 2015 though. That's after I get you know came home from that little three months I did. Gotcha. You know? Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. As a matter of fact, we are gonna talk about that because somebody somebody uh has said something one time about your bid. They was like, oh yeah, you know. Jers out here portraying that street shit, you know, like he doing the bid. The nigga only doing ninety days. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, now yeah. I I knew just because I fucked with you that you wasn't going in to do no bid anyway. Hell no. You know what I'm saying? What was the little ninety days for? It was just a, a big pistol. Uh, you already don't look that shit. Nah, I don't want to. <laughs> I was like about to say, goddamn. Nah, it was though. Nah, it was okay. though. I ain't gonna lie. We yeah. were, this is a real true story. You can look the documents up. Everything. Goddamn, my name Charles Horton. Look it up. But at the end of the day, we was we was smoking like I ain't even gonna say who I was with. You know what I'm saying? But we was smoking in the car in the fucking mall. You know, niggas getting money, man. So we just chilling, man. Hell about yeah. to go on the Five Birds right there, North Lake. You know about it. You okay. know Five Birds. You know that's my little spot back in the day. But either way, we just chilling, smoking and shit. You know, I had my Ford on me. You know what I'm saying? It was on me. You know what I'm saying? I was just in there smoking, chilling, and goddamn. The police pulled up like undercover. I guess somebody pulled up beside us and smelled the weed. You feel me? So undercover pulled up and got down. Whoever was in the front seat was like, that's 12. So I'm thinking he's tripping. You feel me? But I look back, it was a black car. It was real 12, yeah. I'm really about to get out the, like, open the car and just throw the blunt. You feel me? Like, just, uh. But I ain't even get to make that part up. He was already on my ass. You feel me? Like, so I, my dumb man closed the door back. But I'm smart at the same time. I'm trying to get the 40 off me. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. it's, it's on me. As long as it gets somewhere in this goddamn car, it ain't on me. I ain't tripping. You feel me? So exactly. that's what I was trying to do. So by the time I'm doing all this, trying to get it off me, he, he, yo, stop moving, stop moving. But I got that bitch off me. I don't know. It was off me. You feel me? Gotcha, so okay. boom, we get out the car. Whoever's in the car, I ain't saying no names. But. Whenever we was in the car, they got, you know, 12 got us out of the car because he was he, boy, he ready to kill. He ready. He hey, know, they always ready hey, to kill. Told, them, and you had a hey, pistol, boy. You lucky that, you alive right now. That nigga told us, he said, hey, I'll blow your fucking head off and I'll kill both of y'all too. You know what I'm saying? Like, God damn. Fuck, yeah, no, no, no. So You're I'm right. like, that's, that's how they do. So, okay, they get the mall security to put us in handcuffs and shit. Like, they, they get their little assistance and shit, too. I guess they get a little backup and shit. Yeah, so, yeah. so we we outside, you know what I mean, waiting for the backup and shit. So they, he going through the car. <coughs> <clears throat> my bad. So, of course, you know, my 40 is in plain sight. So, they, they, he get the 40 out. You know what I mean? So, okay, boom. So, he keep going through the car. And next thing you know, he pull out a big-ass car from 15. You feel me? I'm talking about big nuts on that bitch, bro. So, I'm like, oh, Jesus. You feel me? Serial, serial numbers weren't rubbed off nah, on nothing. Nah, okay, all right, legit, all right. Man, everything okay. legit. You know what I'm saying? But it was just to the point, like, even even the 40 was legit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas, like, man, look the paperwork up. You know what I'm saying? Charles Horton. But look, though, goddamn, um, everything was legit on that shit. So we go to jail. You know, it was three of us. We went to jail and shit. And they interrogated us. Of course, you know, paperwork came back on that. Ain't nobody say nothing on that one. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So me being the only felon in the car, I had to take the rap. You know what I mean? But I got a sweet deal. You know what I mean? Because we had a lot of federal shit going on at the time. And and, and really, our, our biggest scale was like, when they coming? You know what I mean? Exactly. So I had a gun case going and I had a weed case. It, it was like two eggs, though. You know what I mean? So I had two cases going at the same time. Then I fucked around and got caught in another goddamn case at a house. So I had three cases going. You feel me? Oh, so damn. I'm like, boy. like me, And I was the only felon. So I'm like. Dude, I'm about to go. I'm shit. I'm about to go to jail. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah, already yeah. preparing myself. Like, as I'm fighting the case, you know, my niggas can't bomb me out. You know, most solid, solid to all of them. You know what I mean? But when I'm out here fight, free fighting the case, of course, I'm thinking like, boy, it's a gun. I, since I'm growing up, all I know y'all about to do goddamn five, five years. Yeah, five. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so five. I, I, when I when I'm in the, the uh, like when I got locked up for the gun, like I stayed like in jail for a couple of days, I think. 
And it was, it was a nigga in there who I had a show with or something. He was a promoter or something. But he had caught a gun case, but he was already doing his time. So he was saying he got three months and two years probation for a gun. So okay. you know me, I'm just, I'm just like Charlotte. You know what I mean? Boy, yeah. you working. Boy, you working. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah, yeah. I got caught up in, in another situation, my little third case I was telling you about, and I had to go to jail. And then uh, you know, when I went in that part of that time, people saying the same shit. So I'm like, boy, that's how I'm about to try to work it. So when I got to my lawyer and shit, it asked about that. She was like, well, they have been doing that. I'm going to see if you eligible. And I told her, I say, this is all I do. If you can just promise me that the feds won't pick shit up, I got them take the little plea for the three months. Because I, I, mean, I didn't want to do a day in jail. You exactly. know what I'm saying? No, no, so no, I get it. No, no, I'm no, like, nobody does. Well, I take the little three months and two years probation. I did three years probation one time before I was doing drugs. Like, before I was smoking weed, I did three years because I had caught a robbery way back. I was six, seven. You know what I mean? So, like, I was like, shit, I do the three years in jail because, you know, just sleep all the time and just eat my little swords or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come home. You know what I mean? And then two years probation. And that's what I got, though. Like, I just got two years probation. I did three months in jail, like 90 days. You know what I mean? Gotcha. So okay. All right. That's all it was. Yeah, bro, bro, that was an extremely sweet deal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't beat that shit right there. And like I say, bro, like, it's not it's not even the streets business to even be worried about the fuck going on. Like, oh, fuck, y'all shouldn't be worried about that. But yeah. I see y'all in my shit. Y'all see. But look, just buy my music, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. Hell you, yeah. You want my dick that much. If, you know what I'm saying? Buy the shit, man. It's gotcha. Shit. Hell yeah. Y'all support rats. So I, I I get tired y'all want to talk about somebody ratting and all that shit. Y'all niggas support rats. Y'all best niggas be rats and y'all man, come on man. Like I see it all the time. I'm just I'm so real of a nigga. It's it's no reason even to, like get into y'all business. Like nah, I feel what you doing. But I don't feel. don't condone like don't don't call nobody else no rat or try to get in nobody business saying he dad or that. And you 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 supporting it. Listen, that, listen, that, that's a hundred. That a hundred, 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 hundred. Period. Yeah, that 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 that's a hundred. So check it. When you did the name change from Superstar Jers to Charlie Drugs, yeah. what was the reason behind the name change, and what's the difference between the two? It was like Jers' name was just getting too hot. In my eyes, it was like, but you know what I'm saying? Just the talks and just, you know, him, or this what just happened to this nigga. This what, so it was just like, God damn, boy, we them, boy, we too hot. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was bro, like, bro, y'all was on fire boy, out you. The high, boy, yeah, it was just something every goddamn day, man. And I'm, I, like I said, I was a rapper first. I, I, I wasn't in the street. Like, I wasn't just... Oh, I'm jumping straight in the street. I didn't do that. I was rap. I was trying to make it with some rap shit. So Hell yeah. for me to go through this personally on some like, damn, boy, these niggas did that. He did what? You know what I mean? So that every day, I'm not used to it, bro. I Hell wasn't yeah. used to that shit. I'm like, damn, bro. Like, man, I'm yeah. Good. The world, the world start getting small. Like you couldn't do shows. Yeah, like, you know your like, reason of doing what you're y'all doing. Clothes. I mean, banning y'all from clubs. Like they was banning y'all everywhere. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like hey. I remember there was times I tried to get y'all to do events and niggas was like, nah, they can't come, bro. But before, you know? before it was Hunter Gang and it was just Jers. I never had them problems. Nah, you never, you never had them problems. Nah, you, problems. you were correct. And I ain't saying my niggas. And I'm talking problems. about you was, you was more to it. You now. was banging with niggas when it was just Jers. Now, yeah, yeah, I'll fight. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I'll you was go, fighting I'll in the club go. when it was just Jers, but when by it was myself too. By, by yourself. A lot of niggas don't know that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's but, Charlotte history. But yeah, that, I had never been a bitch. I beat your ass too. Like I just cooled down because I got kids. I, I want to live. Nigga, kill yeah, these yeah. days. No, 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 you're right. But yeah. I will fight you. I, I'll knock your ass out. <laughs> hey, boy, ask about it. Listen, I, I don't witness it. You know I don't what play. Uh, you say you can say yeah. you can say anything you want to me, but when you're in my face and you say that slick shit without your partner in them, you, you don't see what happened. You know nah, what I'm saying? Nah, right. Any man gonna do that, bro? Nah, you're right. You're right. So you know, shit got hot. We understand. You made the name change, but there was yeah. there was also a change in style. Yeah, yeah. Like you you went from the spitting to more of the singing. Yeah, you know more, what I'm saying? And I know yeah. I know that's sort of you know the popular thing, yeah. you know, to have a sing songy flow, but you really sing on your shit. Sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. some like R and B ass nigga now. Yeah, yeah. You know, like yeah. you really get it in. For the hoes. You know, <laughs> for the hoes, I feel you. Yeah. You know now, um, Okay, I I want to I want to get into more of the music, but we got to take it back to the streets because that's what niggas want to hear. Okay, so Mo gets locked up. Money only. 16, Mo gets locked up. 2016. My I think yeah, it was like it was like early 2000, like February 2016. Exactly. Mo yeah. gets locked up. Y'all were already hot. Yeah. Um. But in the room, in no time it was like it was it was going down. Because, yeah, it was going down. Yeah. You know, and it almost was like. The whole crew was affected because Mo was the yeah, glue. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. immediately, 
Rumors started coming out. This nigga telling, yeah, yeah, this yeah, nigga yeah, snitching, yeah, yeah. this nigga name and paperwork, yeah, yeah. that nigga name and paperwork. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it was it was it was immediately chaos. Not yeah. just in the streets because Mo was big in the streets, yeah. but amongst the crew itself. Yeah. Now, as of recently, you know, there have been rumors of Chubby Bands, mm-hmm. who was down with y'all for for quite some time. Yeah. You know, everybody knew Chubby Bands. He used to run with Brick Squad, Monopoly, and all those other niggas, you know. Yeah, 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 hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Chubby Bands was cool with a lot of people, you know. Um, but everybody was saying, Chubbs is snitching. Chubbs is snitching. Chubbs is snitching. Yeah. And recently, allegedly, yeah. there's been paperwork that has hit the streets that has his name on it saying uh. that he snitched. On money only mo. The nigga, you know, everybody, everybody always says the niggas closest to you who who uh who will bring you down. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah. I personally have not seen the paperwork with my own eyes, but I know people who have seen it. Who have have you seen the paperwork with your I, own I, eyes? I ain't seen no paperwork on, on nobody. Okay, because, you ain't seen it all. Because if you if you really in the goddamn federal system, bro, like you know they don't give you paperwork like on shit like that, bro. Like you see videos. You see videos of what niggas did. You well, know well what I mean? that that as well. I, w- I was gonna address that. You know, that not just niggas who've seen the paperwork, but there are people who've heard audio recordings yeah, yeah. and seen tapes. You know, like yeah, yeah. like wire recordings, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know what it, I'm it's saying? It's life, like. I mean, and and this life. is and this is why I want to talk to you about it because it's allegedly to me, but I know you deal with money only mode. You deal with you know uh, chubby bands. You deal with. Joe Blow, you deal with, you know, all these all these people were in in inside the team. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, you deal yeah. with white boy, you deal with everybody, you yeah, know. So yeah, yeah. we want to hear it from the horse's mouth. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. fuck all of that. I heard in the barbershop. Yeah. I heard here, I heard here, I heard yeah, there. Yeah. You know, we got a nigga who's a part of the team who interacts yeah, yeah, yeah. on a daily basis yeah. with money only mo. You my know thug, what I'm saying? And, and, and white boy and everybody, you know, like, you know. Have you seen any paperwork, mm. any solid foundation nah. that niggas is telling? You know, I ain't seen no paperwork on Chubb, but uh, Chubb, like, you know what's up, bro? I don't want to even put nobody, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like, I understand, bro. Like, y'all some fucked up people in this world and shit. Like, yeah. But, God damn. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas, niggas is wrong for whatever reasons. You know, it ain't just chub shit. It's a lot of motherfuckers. Yeah. Shit. You know what and, I'm saying? And, and, and earlier shit. you said, uh, you know, earlier you said, you said, yeah. nah, nah, you're right. Earlier you said, um, you know, niggas was saying that you was telling as well. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. do you care to address that? You know, I mean, like, shit, where's that? You know what I'm saying? Like, but we a family, my nigga. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I don't try to give too many people business and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because it's... We, like I say, we we family. Like I, I gotta go back to these niggas and shit. You know I love you, nigga. Like if I told you I love you, then I mean it. You know what I mean? Really? Like nah, hell I don't yeah. give a fuck what happened, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like even if you told on me, like it's still like I don't want to kill you, nigga. Like damn, yeah, yeah, hell but yeah. damn, bro. Why? You know what yeah, I'm saying? Nah, so hell yeah. that's all it be, bro. Like I said, at the end of the day, I was a rapper first, bro. So I really don't give a fuck about that street shit. Like you doing all that. Dumb. I, when I got into the shit and I see what it did to a nigga, bro, I just be like, damn, why? You know what I mean? That 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 be the right. biggest question in my head, like. Yeah, cause you you know niggas bro, you, who you, who you you're solid with, you, you know they, they thought know, you were solid. They know your you know? struggle. Yeah. You know they if a nigga know your struggle and shit, bro, like it, you know. Of course, niggas slip up, say some shit, whatever. But to really go to the point of wearing a wire, a video recording, a, you know, just agreeing to work with task force and the federal, whatever you was doing, like I don't, res- I can't respect shit like that because, bro, in a day we supposed to be family, like no, you're no right. matter what, no matter what, bro. I'm, I'm saying if shit, I, I can't goddamn uh, justify no shit like that. No, nah, I you get, know what listen, I'm saying. Listen, I get it. You know what I'm saying, and 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 listen, and that's real. Like, and 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 uh, eventually, like all paperwork, it will all leak out. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It will all leak out. Somebody will get their hands on it or steal steal a little picture of, of the paperwork. Boom, boom, boom. Even though you know that shit ain't supposed but to be even, leaked out. Even you know when what I'm saying? even when you put paperwork out, what is they doing? Shit. Showing showing niggas true colors. You okay, know what but I'm what, is people gonna stop fucking with you? No, man. Listen, yeah. nowadays no. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm that, saying. Not, so nowadays, me me no. trying me you trying know? to expose somebody is, is dumb. Like you know, I don't need to expose y'all. Like y'all know what y'all did. Like no, you're so right. it's like 
Okay, like, cause, cause, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's people who we know rats, and we st- we still fuck with them. You see what I'm saying? Nah, like, you correct. Like, and it, it, it was, it was. Trust me, it was plenty of arguments, plenty of arguments. But certain people, you be like, man, even that, that shit flawed to real street niggas. Yeah, nah, you know right. what I mean. So you gotta look at it like, shit, man, niggas been around rat niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like. Come on, man! But you st- like people still allow it, like not nah, not right. just hunting gang, any click. It's a rat, never click. Nah, but y'all right. allow them rats to still well, be you, around. And, and you know one thing I I've said to quite a few people, not just online but in person, you know, uh, recorded and unrecorded personal conversations, yeah. whatever it is if. You know, because niggas always talk about killing snitches and killing yeah, rats and all that. Death doll it. rats. I always tell people, listen. If you have gotten to any, if you a real street nigga, yeah, real yeah. certified street nigga, in some way, shape, or form, a nigga you have hung with, mm-hmm. a nigga you have dealt with, or a nigga who's actually your blood Beard, has me. been a rat. Beard, tell me. If you are a real street nigga, yeah. in some way, shape, or form, a nigga you have hung with, dealt with, broke bread with, or a blood with has been a rat. There is not a crew. That has ever gotten any type of real money or so, mm-hmm. any type of real drugs, yeah, yeah. or done any type of real illegal street shit that has not had a rat in the crew at yeah, all. And like you said, these niggas still hang with them. Yeah, these yeah. niggas still send them money. You still, you still you put them with your clique. Exactly. You know what I mean? You know what I'm you, niggas you, will make excuses. Because you, you go off of what you see. Yeah, yeah. Niggas, niggas will make excuses for them quick. Niggas will hop online and, oh man, fuck these niggas, fuck these rats, death to all rats. Mm. But then once a the nigga say something about their family, their friend or something, now all of a sudden, well, see, you yeah, don't know the yeah. real story. Yeah, you know? beef wait, with wait, you. Well, you know, hold on now. Don't fuck you. know, you. Let's, let's make it. Let's, let, 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 I'm going to tell you why. All of a yeah. sudden they start explaining and, you know. But it should be no excuses. Yeah, no excuses. If you, you know stand by that shit. Everybody, everybody, you, right. you know what I'm saying? If you stand by it, like if you if you all the way just so solid, you know how everybody claiming to be, you ain't man, ain't no nigga around you supposed to ever be in no rat, no 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 nah, worker, right. no nothing. But Listen, you right, man. You right. Y'all niggas ain't solid shit. I ain't even all the way solid because I allowed it. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So no, I'm right. real enough to let you know that. Like we all allowed that shit, man. Like I ain't saying it's right, cause it ain't. That shit ain't right. Nah, no, you're right. But shit, it's life, man. You live listen, and learn, bro. That's listen, why I be by listen, myself. I'm, listen, I'm watching the, the, the Instagram right now and the Facebook right now. Niggas are ready for this interview to drop. <laughs> they ready for me to drop this thing. You Solid know what I'm shit, saying? Man. So check it. Back to the music. We done okay. addressed all that. Let's get into Charlie Drugs. Let's Period. Get, let's, let's get into what matters the most out here. Yeah, that music. So Buy my shit. Your first project as Charlie Drugs was what? What was your uh, first project? I ain't gonna lie, I don't remember, bro. Like, you don't remember? Yeah. I really was just like, oh, first song like that we really put out. Nah, was, because didn't, didn't I do a CD DVD combo for you? No, it, it was some Drugs. videos. It was, you know, not Charlie Drugs. I don't think that was that wasn't Charlie Drugs. Okay, nah. so so Charlie Drugs, um, from what I see, Charlie Drugs is more of a ladies man than Jerks. I'm yeah, you know what I'm I'm saying? He, he's back to he's back to the beginning. He's yeah. the he's the real superstar yeah. Jersey, the original I'm, superstar I'm Jersey. Fuck, exactly, I'm fuck, Jersey. Exactly. Okay. I'm Charles. Boom. Char- you know but what I'm that, now we now we make the Charles. I used to hate that name. Now we make the Charles Horton Charlie Drug big, connection. Big, okay. Big, big, big. All right. So y'all just heard um, all about us. I came up off what? So Charles. Sure. Gotcha. Is. Okay. Bye. All right. There it is. You know what I'm saying? There's always a real meaning behind the name. So what 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 what, what trials have you faced? Trying to rebrand yourself as Charlie Drugs, get away from the Honey Gang yeah. negative persona, yeah. and come back out in a time where you know you don't really fit no more because yeah. shit has changed so much. Yeah. You older, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. You don't wear tight ass clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying. You're not a drug abuser. Yeah, yeah. You don't have no funny colored hair. You know yeah, the popular yeah. shit right now. Like yeah. what, what what are you going through now? It's almost like you're starting over. I think like, that's what, what, what happened though. You you think that's helping? Yeah, I think okay. that's helping. All right. You know what I'm saying? Okay. What 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 um what 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 trials are you going through trying to you know get back out here? Uh, really, just really fucking with different blog sites. Now that's my, that's my biggest thing. Like fucking with say cheese, fucking with you. Got you. You know what I'm saying? Why? Why are you? Why you have support? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell you know yeah! Hell you know yeah. What I'm but yeah, just really goddamn just fucking with different uh markets, bro. Like, cause 
Like I said, I done been in Charlotte, like, and, and shit. Y'all see what Charlotte think of me, because a lot of Charlotte niggas watching this, so you see Charlotte just is really like, fuck that nigga, he done did his shit, heard he was yeah. a rat. You know what I mean? So yeah, it just yeah, be yeah. like, fuck y'all. I, I, you know what I mean? Not saying fuck it, but shit, y'all going to fuck with this shit once it, once, once the world fuck with it. Exactly. Craig. That's why I say it's for the world, Craig. So, so y'all so basi- fuck so with So basically the trials have been, you know, trying to expand, get more media, things of that, trying to. Yeah. Yeah, like, trying to, okay. Like really show people the talent, not just show, like show the world my talent. Like, because we come from the beginning. I was a rapper, so I always knew what I was doing. It was mm-hmm. just putting it together, and Charlie really got it together. You know what I mean? Got gotcha. you. So, the so, business is together, too. You know what I mean? Got gotcha. It's Charlie Listen, LLC. That's the main part. So, um, now that we talking about that, you are back to moving solo dolo. It's like the whole crew has been demolished except for Nutso Cutthroat. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, has, it, has it been... Has it, has it been harder than when you start? Harder from start? Excuse me. Has it been harder moving now than it was now by yourself than when you were originally by yourself? When it was superstar jerseys and faces, yeah, yeah, sort of yeah. moving solo dolo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, now it's Charlie Drugs moving yeah, by yourself. Yeah. Do you feel like it's, it's it's harder just to get back out there? I mean, no, because of the relationships I have built, like I ain't never really made my face bad on no music shit. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? So goddamn. It's kind of easy to be like, call you, call Mario. Like, not saying like everybody been like opening on, put your ass ready. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. But yeah, yeah, it's yeah. still like I got them relationships where they know who the fuck I am and they know what I'm trying to do at least. You know what I mean? But uh, so it's, it's not hard. It's really kind of easy, Charlotte wise. It's more harder like other markets. We gotcha. trying to build relationships in Miami and uh, me and Mo, we want to go to Clearwater, Florida. We're going to be down there real soon. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Clearwater. You know what I mean? So, you know. We just trying to, you know, I want some yellows too, you know, all them yellows. I'm just trying to go different city, fuck a different yellow, you know what I mean? So, I don't know, man. You know, that's that's, that's really what it is, like, trying mm-hmm. to get out there, you know what I mean? Like, gotcha. where we sitting right now above the city, man, this shit look good. I'm trying to do this every day in a different city. Because we done did the shit in Charlotte, like, ain't shit, ain't shit to prove. I don't got shit to prove, and then... End up getting killed, you know what I mean? That was some fuck shit. Yeah, you know what I mean, you stay in the city. Yeah, so. listen, it happen. It happens there, but if it, if it's yeah, gonna yeah. happen to you, it, it usually happens in your city. Man, yeah, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Nigga shot at me, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just mind my goddamn business, man. Motherfucker caught me at the red light, man. You know what I'm saying? So, God damn. you know, you know, nigga did it dirty too. You know, I'm talking about, man. It was like, God damn, nigga, you caught me slipping, but I don't know. It's just like you pose. A, it's just how you move. You know what I mean? It, it's really how you move because. Niggas ain't going to face up and do shit. Like, that's him. What's up, nigga? You know, they ain't going to get you. Yeah, they ain't going to get you on the sneak. slot. Yeah, sneak tip. So, it be it could be old situations. It could just be just because a nigga rapping, you want to do this. You know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. you don't really know who. Like, just hating. Because that's why I look at the shit. Like, if you hate me so much to shoot at me and try to uh, attempt to kill my life... Yeah, boy, god damn, boy, somebody need to get you some money or something, man. God damn, you doing all that lame and shit. Because nigga ain't really out here doing nothing crazy for a nigga even. You know what I'm saying? Like, god damn, motherfucker just trying to get some little money, take care of my little kids, man, on, on a better uh, platform, man. Like, mm-hmm. that really nigga, that's everybody I've ever been around. Like, I knew niggas' true attentions, what you was doing, whatever you was doing for. Like, everybody had a goal. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you was around me, man, you was a goal. Even if you wanted to be the biggest drug dealer in the world, shit, that was your goal, nigga. Shit, you know what I mean? It wasn't mine, you know what I mean? So, shit, but it was yours, I guess, you know what I mean? You got to live your life, man. Shit. Nah, you're right. All right, so now, um, just recently, you have uh, ventured off or ventured out. You've expanded. You know, um, we talked about the music. We talked about the street shit. Um, so, you're a certified OG out here. Nah, you 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 in music in music. All right, I got you. All right, I got you. We gonna keep. All right, you 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 certified in, in in a lot of areas. Now we can add actor to yeah, the yeah. list. We can add actor director. You need to some hand class for that, baby. Okay. Oh, turn right. up. Okay, we can add actor director to the list, man. Yeah, yeah. You have the project called Undeniable Feelings out. Yeah, you got go, the movie go, and the soundtrack. Yeah, go, go, Let's talk about that. the movie. Let's talk yeah. about the movie. We're going to get into the soundtrack because the music is, is is A1 on the soundtrack. But what made you want to expand into not just acting, yeah. but then writing and producing a movie? Well, I ain't write this one. 
Oh, you ain't write the under nah, the Nine God I ain't damn write it. them. I ain't write who, them. Who wrote that thing? My boy Dennis Allen. Shout Got out you. Okay. Boy. All right. Shout out my boy Dennis Allen. Y'all check him out. Hell man. yeah. Okay. So, so what made you want to get into acting? I mean, I wanted to write it too, but it was just like he had all the equipment to shoot the movie. So I'm like, shit, let's get it. You know hell what I'm yeah, saying? Hell like, yeah, hell yeah. we can we can help each other. You know what I mean? That's that's how that came about. It okay. Was, so let's get into the plot of the movie. Tell us about the plot of Undeniable Feelings. Uh, because I know it already. I I want I want you to explain your vision. Yeah, you know? it, it basically was just based on a guy named Deshaun, played by me, and he's just uh, looking for like you know love, like real love, like from somebody. You know what I mean? So gotcha. he's juggling different females, trying to find out which one is the, the real one, and. You know, each female got different characteristics about them that he like that he and like, yeah. he don't like. You know what I mean? Yeah, because he got so, the hood rat bitch. He got yeah. the teacher. You get, Pig, you know, yeah, Pig, yeah, he got Pig. he got a little he got a little plethora, a, a nice yeah. uh, variety yeah. of females that he deals with. That was good. You know, I appreciate everybody being in that too, man. Because you know, it, it took boy, it took some time, like just to you know, people are bullshit you. You know, people don't really believe in your dream like you believe. Nah, you're so, right. You're right. You know? So did you have to try out for the role? Or did nah, the, did, did, shit. Did bro it, come it, to it, you with it? Oh nah, I, I was you know just the back and behind it, like it was about Got me you. anyway. You oh okay, I mean? all right, so all right. I had to do it. Like, shit. Yeah, yeah, I wanted. Yeah. I, it was my idea to like let's Got shoot you. this shit. You know, you know but some people be like, all right, well you know it's me, it's based on me, but I'm gonna have another nigga play me. You know nah, it saying? wasn't. It wasn't based on me. Oh okay, all right. That all right, shit ain't right, got nothing to do with my real life. You know what I mean? Like, well, I don't well, even, goddamn, it's, I don't it's about like, hoes and you love the, Charlie Drugs love mean, the hoes. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but shit, I don't talk like how Dash, D- Darshan, gotcha. Deshaun, okay. whatever. We, we yeah, Deshaun that. was a savage, you know. I mean, but he talked kind of corny to me. Uh, okay, yeah. Well, you, you know, know what I'm saying? Like, I don't talk like that. I don't use them type of words. You gotcha, know what I'm saying? Gotcha. But, well, you, well, you know, sometimes we got to change. Uh, yeah, it's acting. Cha- yeah, yeah, it's acting. We got we to gotta change the names yeah. in the uh, places yeah, yeah. To, to keep the innocent, you know, to protect yeah, to protect yeah. the people involved. Shit, I ain't, know? Doing, I, ain't know, I ain't doing no real life movie shit to later on, man. My story just beginning, man. You know gotcha. what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah. it's just showing you that I already been through a lot of real shit. Before Honey Gang, I already was doing, I already, like my my other people had went fed. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? So, Hell before yeah. that, my, my cousin went fed. Like, it always been some federal shit. So, I always just been like trying to stay the fuck away from it. You know what I mean? Got you. Got that's you. So, the way. Undeniable Feeling soundtrack, that's mainly all you as well. Man, you know that's, what I'm saying? That's me. You know gotcha. what I'm I got now, features that, on it. Yeah. Now, who, who you got featured on that thing? Uh, KO. Well, uh-huh. he, he go by Easy Adam now. Okay. He make a lot of beats. Uh, we have Pete Frank on that thing. You know man, shout, shout, shout out to Fetty yeah, Pete shout Franklin. Out, shout, yeah. out, shout out my boy, man. Appreciate that very much, though. Uh, you know, Mo on that thing. You on that bottom line period. That's definitely on there. Okay. You know, that's a big anthem. That was a street anthem for my thug. Went in there, that bottom line period. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Y'all check that out. Uh, who else on that one? I, don't, I ain't got too many features, bro. I really don't. I think it's just Mo and Pete Frank, uh, D Blake, and. Chaos. Got you. Okay, now you just dropped the new single. You yeah, know now yeah, yeah, I can yeah, t- yeah. I can tell you starting to you starting to get back into the yeah. to get back into the swing of things because the projects mm-hmm. are dropping, the music is dropping. Um, first off, I just want to say you were one of the first artists in Charlotte that always had visuals yeah. to your shit. Yeah. yeah, you know, like like what made you see the importance of having videos early? Because uh, a lot of niggas be like, oh man, I ain't about to get in front of no camera. I ain't, I ain't that type of nigga. But yeah. you was never that nigga. You always had a constant video popping. Like I said, I always wanted to be a rapper. Gotcha. All these niggas wanted to be trappers. I ain't want to be a trapper. I wanted to be a rapper. You gotcha. know what I mean? Hell so yeah. I always followed rap. Like I did, I did what the rappers did. You know, people like people used to look at me like, oh, he's so lame. But not everybody want to be a rapper. No, you see what I'm saying? Nah, so, you're right. You're right. Like I say, like you might not want to admit it, but a lot of people follow me. You know what I mean? Because y'all want to be shooters and murderers and and I got the bricks and you know what I mean? Like that's yeah, what y'all yeah. was talking about back in them days. I remember. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was yeah. talking about, yeah, I'm a dog and not be fucking, fucking no more. You know what I mean? Nah, so I love, man, everybody love that shit. Yeah. God damn. It's Hell different. Yeah. It's different. You know what I <laughs> mean? It just it just really affects. You know gotcha. what I mean? Like, nah, I feel you. Niggas niggas want to be Killers and and, 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 and and trappers, you nah, know. Nah, yeah, yeah. You you was at round and round we go. Period. Round and round we go. Avi, Avi, listen. That was that period. shit, bro. Period. Listen, if you if you watching this, go Google that 
It is. It is say Jers. I'm a dog. Go on YouTube. All that. Watch fucking the them all. Fucking them all. Okay. Okay. Fucking them all. Okay. <laughs> all the same. Some niggas call it round and round. I go. Pier, you pier. know, it's it's so DJ. Many we here. You gotta know every last single aspect of a song because yeah. niggas just you know whatever stand out a nigga come request that shit. Shout out that. Uh, shout out DJ Styles too because he still play that shit. He, man. Yes, he does, pier, man. Hey, pier. man. Fuck with Styles. Fuck with Mario the Mike Man. Pier. Okay. So I right, now we on the new single. Yeah. 50 grand. Tell me about yeah. that 50 grand. I want to buy me a Benz, but I'm 50 grand, y'all. <laughs> hey, look, that's, that's that, that shit. shit bro. <laughs> <laughs> say the same time. All right, who, who, who on that 50 grand with you, my man? My boy, my boy Jones, man. My boy, he here with man, me. Man, come step in front of the camera real quick, like my, my nigga. Let, let him just see your face. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so tell tell us, uh, you know about that fifty grand, man. You know how how'd you come up with the with the concept and the hook because uh, it's a, it's some real street shit now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, really, with the fifty grand and shit, that line. I wanna buy me a Benz, but a fifty, 50 grand, grand show. Yep. If you remember that, if you're a real OG nigga, who that? That's Trick Daddy. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it was just me bringing that that sauce in it, like. I was sitting at the studio, like, me and, me and Jones was there, like, you know what I mean? And we was at Boo Boo Studio. Shout out my boy Boo Boo on the beat. You know what I mean? Hell we was yeah. at Boo Boo Studio. And, uh, you know, I just like to make songs, bro. But I just had that feeling because some shit had just happened. And, you know, my nigga Mo, again, he motivated me. He was like, bro, like, shit, fuck him. You know, whatever was going on, he was like, bro, fuck that. Like, you know, put put us on. When I come home, exactly, it need to be what it need to be. So it was just like, that really just put the fire behind my back, like, Nigga, shit, when, when, when by the time bro get here, we gonna have it already bubbling, paid shows. Cause I'm already, I'm, I'm talented. Fuck the street shit, I'm talented. You know what I mean? No, you're so, right. You're right. Just trying to just give y'all all this talent, and, and I ain't worried about what, what the street got to say about it. You know what I mean? Cause listen to the song, it's all real. Bagging, and bagging, and I've been remixing everything. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Now nah, you're right. Y'all know what's up with me, nah, man. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know what's up, man. Man, definitely. So, 50 grand, a new single, man. What, what, what else you got coming out, bro? Uh, what, what, what else can we look forward? We, 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 we winding down on 2017. What can we shit, look forward no to stress. From, from, from you in 2018? No stress. I mean, but it's a song I got called No Stress. That's the next thing I'm coming with. Okay. But 50 grand, it's, it's just the beginning for 50 grand. Gotcha. We about to hit Say Cheese next Saturday. So that's okay. that's, that's gonna go live. You know what I mean? Then you know all the other merch go pick it up after Say Cheese hit it. Because so. it's an undeniable song. Like the song is undeniable. It is. It is. It is. It is. Boom. You know what I mean? We just got to edit it yesterday. I sent it to all the DJs. Y'all about to play my shit, man. For real. On the radio. I about to hear, I want to buy me a pin, but I'm 50 fresh, y'all. Listen. I about to hear that you shit. You can do it. <laughs> you, can get it you can get it in. For real, you know dog. All right, 2018, what, what, what else you got popping? You're you, you, you going to expand on excuse me, expand on the acting? You, you, yeah, you know yeah. What I'm, I'm doing nothing but short films. I got a new short film I'm working on called Touchdown. You know what I'm saying? Uh, more videos. Uh, like I said, I got another song about a push called uh, No Stressing. Mm -hmm. uh, I got shit, man. We just going to keep going, bro. I got a clothing line. You know what I'm saying? Like It's called The Pharmacy Clothing. Gotcha. You know, if you watch the uh, fifty grand video, you watch the don't need you video. I got I got a clothing line on in there. You can you can you can get a shirt. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Man, Come holler at me. Tell them how to find you. Tell them how to find you. Tell them uh, the website. At Charlie everything. Drugs. At Charlie Drugs. Everything. Even even shit with my website. CharlieDrugs.com. Uh, at Charlie Drugs. Instagram. Twitter. That's drugs with a, with a Z or with S a Z. on the end. Drugs yeah, drugs with a, with a Z. You know what I mean? So you just look that shit up, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? See your boy, man. I'm, I'm coming, man. I got a little, little fuck 10K followers right now. Okay. But I'm coming for like 100K, me. You know what I'm saying? Because people are going to follow authentic shit, man. Like they know it's, it's coming. It's, it's solid, man. It's like, bro, I got a story behind this shit. It's real. Like, definitely. Ain't shit fake about it. And you know, you know, once the bag get good, I'm going to tell you the whole story. Okay. Cause then I can take care of all my niggas. You you give me a little a quick couple million, I give you the whole story. I'm gonna feed all my niggas off that. You know what I'm saying? Then we can give you the real story. Hell yeah. You know, detail for detail, and y'all gonna get some millions and billions off of off this real shit. But until the end, we gonna just hold some shit back. Everybody don't need his family. You know what I'm saying? All day. When that Definitely. bad come, boy, boy, you know we gonna turn. Everybody gonna be a part of the move. Everybody gonna have a little part. They can write their own little part. You know what I'm For saying? Real. Nah, that's real. Because we got that's the real. bag now. But it, 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 it'll be like the BMF story that Fifty Cent working on. Yeah, the, man. The, but the you real know, life shit. 
You know Mo be saying? home very soon. And that bro, was my so. next question. That was my last question. When can we see Money Only Mo back out on uh, the street? Next year, bro. Next 2018? Year. Yeah, 2018. Man, the, listen, the year, everybody looking forward to it, man. It's the year. It's the year. You know what I'm saying? So, shit. It's Rap Wire TV. This is the Beast Bars and Blends podcast. I go by the name of DJ Chuck. Hey, give my boy one more time now. Okay, all right. Go, go, one more go, time. Go, go, go. Come on. Talk. Hell yeah. Hell <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Y'all can catch him on that 50 grand single. Period. You know right now. Saying? Right now. Gotcha. Man, definitely. Be- Beast Bars and Blends. We signing off. Chuck T. Charlie Drugs. Y'all know where to find me. Everything. At DJ Chuck T. Him. Everything. At, at Charlie, Charlie Drugs. Drugs. Neighborhood. Boom. We out. We out.